Hello everybody and welcome back to the Transformation Life Centre. Thank you for joining us again for another one of our podcasts. This week we have a very special testimony. We actually have Katrina's mother. So we're just going to hear from Diane and we'll get back to you when it's finished. Good morning, I'm Diane. There's struggles in life, but you know you need a friend, a friend that you can call on. Well, I've got that friend. And he's called Jesus. And he's always by my side. Whenever I need him, I can talk to him. Whenever I want anything, I always pray to him. And I say, Lord, you know the best way for me to go. You know what the best thing for me to do is. And he always answers my prayers. So you always need that friend by your side. He's always there. His phone's never off. His phone's always charged. He never goes out and forgets me. He's always there, no matter what time of day or night. A bit like Peter, the fisherman. He went out and he fished on his own all night long and he hadn't got one fish. And as he came back to the shore, Jesus was on the shore talking to some people. And Jesus said, Go and take your boat back out again and put your nets on the over the side, he said. And he put his nets over the side of the boat. And after a couple of minutes, he could feel this tossing and turning. When he looked over the side of the boat, he couldn't believe his eyes. There were so many fish. The nets were full. The boats was full. So to me, I'm thinking to myself, well, this last few months, that's how I've been feeling. I've been so blessed in so many things. I'm blessed with a wonderful family and everything that I want is all coming together. And I know that the person that's doing this is God. He's just helping me so much. I feel so blessed. So this is my time for my double portions. And I'm saying to you, keep Jesus as your friend and you pray to him when you want anything and ask him to give you what you want because he will you know especially if you follow him god bless you all amen and amen i love it how the lord is always there for those who call out to him he never disappoints yeah that's my mom so mom we love you and thank you for your testimony this morning this week we are talking about a very special anointing i call it the autumn anointing Now, if you look around you, you will notice falling leaves, cascading leaves everywhere. Now, I'll be honest with you, I do like summer and I do like spring, but autumn is my favourite season of them all because I just feel it so dramatic the way that the trees lose their leaves and yet the trees are perfectly comfortable with this process, perfectly upright and almost, I mean, almost embracing the season. They don't mind shedding leaves, they don't mind losing leaves because they understand that leaves are gonna uh, are gonna take up unnecessary resources and so they shed the leaves um, so they can conserve energy they shed the leaves so that when the wintry conditions come it doesn't really affect the tree that much Um, and also the way that it sheds its leaves uh, it actually serves as manure around the base of the tree to fuel it for its next season so I love autumn and today I want to talk about the autumn anointing. Amen. 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 I'm going to re- look at a few scriptures. The first I'm going to read is Job chapter 14 verse 7 and verse 9. And I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, even a tree has more hope. If it is cut down, it will sprout again and grow new branches. Though its roots have grown old in the earth and its stump decays at the scent of water it will bud and sprout again like a new seedling. I'm going to jump over to John chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. It says, I am, this is Jesus speaking, he says, I am the true grapevine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he prunes the branches that do bear fruit, so they will produce even more. 
You have already been pruned and purified by the message I have given you. In other words, by my word. Remain in me and I will remain in you. For a branch cannot produce fruit if it is severed from the vine. And you cannot be fruitful unless you remain in me. Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is thrown away like a useless branch and withers. Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask for what anything you want and it will be granted. Amen. 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 The secret of the autumn anointing and the secret of these trees is you can get caught up looking on the outside if you want to. You can look at all the leaves and just go, my goodness, this has got no fruit, it's got no leaves, it's got nothing. But the secret of these trees is that they are connected at root level because their roots, like the man in um, in, in Psalms 1, it talks about like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Because of where the roots are situated, because of where the roots are drawing from, the tree knows it's going to be safe. You can laugh at the leafless tree. You can laugh at the fact that it's got no fruit. But the fact remains that it is solid and it is connected and it is still drawing life from the roots. So it doesn't need to put on a show for you. It's autumn, winter spring and summer we know there are many different seasons in our life but if we trust in the lord the word of god if we go back to jeremiah 17 jeremiah 17 6 it said oh actually i'll go back to five cursed is the one who trusts in man who depends on flesh for his strength and whose heart is turned away from the lord he will be like a bush not a tree <laughs> he will be like a bush in the wastelands Oh, wow. He will not see prosperity when it comes, and he will dwell in the parched places of the desert, in a salt land where no one lives. And then it goes on to say wow. that blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. And, and I think one of the interesting things here, it says, he will be like a bush in the wastelands, and he will not see prosperity when it comes. And I don't want to go off into another, a, 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 another podcast, but can we see prosperity when it comes? What does prosperity, success, looks like? It doesn't look like what the, word, uh, what the world tells us. It actually is whatever God is doing in our life. Yeah. yeah? So prosperity is where we've worked up to something, yeah, or we've, we've sold into something and we see it. So those seasons that a tree, that tree is preparing itself for spring. That's right. And summer. That's right. Yeah? That's so, right. So, uh, so we should be able to even see those quiet times in our That's life. Right. Or the times of challenge in our life. That actually, because we trust in the Lord, so we're obviously planted by the rivers of water, we will bring forth fruit in season. Well, you know, if we go out of season, and if we don't understand season, then we go into performance mode. If you can't accept the fact that actually there are times that it's autumn, and there are times that actually I will be leafless for a season, and that's fine because I'm going to come back in spring. What you find is people refusing to go through or acknowledge seasons. They become fake. They become hypocritical. They go and dress it themselves with false leaves. Mm -hmm. You know you can get artificial plants, you can get artificial leaves. People start to put artificial apples on the tree, artificial stuff. And, you know, and it looks ridiculous because everybody knows it's winter. It's okay. <laughs> And then, and then people get found out Amen. and then people go, you know, oh, look at that lovely tree. I'll go and have a nice bite. Let me taste and see that the Lord's good. And they bite it and it's plastic. And they say, right, I'm never going back to church. That's the problem with these Christians is that they're all fake. No, it's not that they're all fake. It's just that people can't accept that there are seasons 
where there are autumn times. And when it's autumn, it's not about a showy life. It's not about a showy thing. You know what it's about? It's about making sure you're rooted. You see, what I love about what happens in the roots is you can't see it with the I normal know. eyes. It is something that happens underground. Our relationship with God needs to be underground so that even Jesus says it. You know, when you're going to pray, go and pray, you know, behind closed doors. Don't do it in public like the Pharisees. There are things that we should be doing that, is, that are root level, that let us, let everyone around know what kind of tree you are because when the time comes to bear fruit, people will look and say, but this thing had no leaves, this thing had no fruit, I'm pretty sure this thing was dead. But at the scent of water, when springtime comes, all of a sudden it's green again and bearing fruit. Don't allow the pressure of the expectation of the world to turn you into a, into, into a fool, to go and try and falsely decorate your tree. Just go through the process and allow the roots and the seasons of life to take their natural process. Amen.